What's going on, guys? It's uh, Doctor Spectre ninety seven eighty one here coming at you with another video. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to um get away from the whole radical Rick thing because you know that was a one time that that was a one time thing. So you know I'm not gonna get involved in YouTube drama or anything. So instead, I'm gonna talk about uh, Mario three D All Stars, and I think it's a pretty good collection. Uh, controls are a little bit finicky. Uh, it takes a while to get used to, but other than that, the games are all the same. You got Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy. Now, I enjoy the hell out of Mario Galaxy. Like, Mario Galaxy is my favorite 3D Mario game, so the fact that, you know, they were able to adapt these controls to the Switch is honestly quite a miracle. And without a center bar, which is awesome, by the way, um... And I'm working on 100%ing every single Mario 3D game on there. Now, the only flaw is that Mario Galaxy 2 is not on there because, you know, there were four Mario games on the first uh, All-Stars, and now there are only three on two Mario 3D All-Stars. So why not just put Galaxy 1 and 2 on there? I just, I don't get it. Anyway... Uh, about it being a limited release, I do agree it's really juicy, but at the same time, it's going to make money because people are going to buy it. Because it's Nintendo, and it's the only time you get to see Mario Sunshine released on something else, besides GameCube. Now, while I do have uh, an original GameCube, I like the re-release. It's fun. Um... Now, I can't wait for the re-release of 3D World, and uh, apparently there's going to be a new Mario theme game coming out, and I can't wait for that, and I'm, lo I'm looking forward to uh, just Paper Mario uh, Origami King, uh, whenever I get around to playing that, because Paper Mario Thousand Year Doors was the last Paper Mario game I actually enjoyed, so anyway, uh, collection is great. Now, how about the... Uh, other aspects as far as, you know. Okay, so, <laughs> the game's individually. Mario 64, okay, it's Mario 64, so it's gonna have some finicky controls, and it doesn't feel the same without that Z button on, on the bottom of the N64 controller. I have played an actual N64. I have played Mario 64 on the actual N64, and... It doesn't feel the same with that out that Z button on the bottom, and when the camera is matched to the you know to some of the buttons, that makes it a lot smoother in my opinion. Um, and of course, you got the problem with uh, Mario doing that whole little circle thing whenever you try and get him to go back. You know, he does that little circle thing that you end up going off the cliff. Yeah, we've all done that. Uh, still have that in there. Uh, I wish they could have given us sunshine camera controls, because sunshine camera controls are fucking glorious. Speaking of which, sunshine. I know a lot of people are gonna say that this is the worst 3D Mario game ever. No, no, it's not. Odyssey. Odyssey. I know that's a very unpopular opinion, but Odyssey is the worst 3D Mario game ever. I'm sorry. Like... You cannot tell me that collecting 900-something moons is fun for you. Okay? Collecting 120 stars is painful for me. Especially the 100 coin missions, my god. Those were so unfun. Anyway. Uh. Just. Keep in mind that these are emulators. Not remakes. So if you're getting this collection, then uh, just be aware that it's not going to be fully remade like the original Super Mario All-Stars game was. Because Nintendo didn't even bother to put any extra effort in. So if you go with, into that with that set of mind, you won't feel ripped off. Okay? Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video.